Hello everyone! This is part two of my painted paper glue book. I did take the book text out of the cover and I did glue in one of my painted papers to the inside so it would be pretty. I cut down the pages so that they would fit in the book and I sewed them in using a five-hole pamphlet stitch because some of the pages are kind of short and I wanted them to be pretty secure in there so I wanted them to be sewn in more than one place. Five stitches um, does that. So I'm having some trouble. I can no longer zoom in. Uh, Logitech has updated something and they've taken away my controller so I don't have that anymore. So I've got <laughs> this messed around here so that I can show you the pages without going up and down like a crazy person. All right, so I wanted to show you the pages of the book. Some of these pages are short. Um, they were leftover bits of papers that I had. Some of the pages had some collage on them that I painted over. And one of the reasons I don't like doing books like this is because both sides of the page do not look like they were created together because they weren't. And they look a little odd in a lot of places. But what I am going to do is I'm going to be gluing some little bits of papers and I'll show you those at the end um, inside and I will be covering up some of those and making the page look more like it was meant to be together. I did some of the pages, the backs of the pages were, were blank or white and so I did glue some little bits down, some tissue paper down to disguise some of them and some of the places I left because I am gluing more things into the book I will just glue some stuff in, like this bit here, um, to make the page look more finished. Some of the pages I glued back to back so that they weren't blank on the, the back side. And so far, I am pretty happy with this. I really like all the color. I like the fact that I'm finally using some of that painted paper. Those jelly prints, some of the paper that I was experimenting with. And had around and really didn't have a use for. Here's wax paper that I use to put between pages while they're drying. Some of the pages are pretty plain. Some of them I won't have to add a whole lot to. And this has been pretty fun just to mess around with these painted papers and put them together and see what they look like. And so, pretty happy with it so far. You can see some of that painted paper through the middles of the signatures. There's some tracing paper that I sprayed inks over a doily. And I am just kind of going through the pages so that I can kind of 
going to document what the pages look like before I start gluing things into them, just for my own reference. So I can go back later, <clears throat> excuse me, go back later when I'm finished and see what it started out looking like. It's a lot of different stuff in here. And I'm not sure how long it will take me to glue things in. I'm not planning on covering entire pages, so um, it probably won't take a real long time. And I'm just going to take my time with it and have some fun. and not worry about it too much. And I will come back and do another flip through when I finished doing that. I really like this piece of paper. Almost at the end, and then I will show you the kinds of papers that I will be gluing inside. Three lady circles. crayon rubbing. So it's a real hodgepodge of painted papers. There's all kinds of things in here. And that's the back. So I have a bunch of little, some of my fish bits, security envelopes and letters and cupcake wrappers, um, little bits of candy wrappers and crayon wrappers, uh, a lot of different just book text and music, some Joss papers and things like that. Um, I'm going to be gluing some of this stuff in and also some of those handmade papers, mulberry papers, rice papers. There's some flocked bits of paper and I have a bunch of these and I hardly ever use them but I thought the color would be really cool with the textures and, and things would be cool in there. I've got postage stamps and tickets. I've got some tissue paper, some more tissue paper, and a bunch of bits of the painted papers, stamped papers, spirograph, nail polish, um, a bunch of those kinds of things that I will be gluing into the pages. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Some papers that I've doodled on, some crayon rubbings and some sprays and just some weird things. Um, more spirograph bits. So a bunch of different, different kinds of things. And I'm just going to randomly grab a bunch of stuff and glue it on to the pages and have fun with it. So the next time you see it, it will be finished and I will do a flip through of it.
It's looking pretty cool already. I really, really, really like it. All right. Thanks for watching.